Hello, people. Another beautiful day. Yep. And yeah. <laughs> Hope your five senses work. Hope your health and strength is good. What? <laughs> what's up? What's up, Xbox fans? Xbox Tribe, Xbox Nation, Xbox Universe, Xbox World, Xbox Legion, what's good? Xbox Mob, what's up? And the Xbox Squad, look. Look at seeing this article. It says here, Starfield. Starfield seemingly replace replacing Halo as Xbox uh, Series X flagship franchise. And then it says after a 7.5 billion purchase, that's no surprise. Um, here's the deal. Starfield, Starfield, in my opinion, will be game of the year. In my opinion. But Starfield, um, Starfield proves that Xbox has games. Based on the studio Microsoft acquires and the games that they're working on. Okay, you got Killer Instinct, Killer Instinct 4 that they're supposed to be working on, right? Then you got Gears of War 6 that they're supposed to be working on, right? <laughs> and then there's rumors of uh, Gears of War Remastered, right? But then you have uh, Rare with Sea of Thieves and Rare has Everwild that they're working on, right? Then you have Fable. Hmm. Then you have uh, uh, all those uh, other studios uh, that Microsoft acquired. So, yes, Starfield. Uh, you, you got Zenimax and um, I mean Zenimax Bethesda got some games that they that that they're working on too. But um, what Starfield proved is that Xbox has exclusives too, right? Halo has been carrying the Xbox for years. And um, that's many days and many hours and many seconds and many minutes and many weeks <laughs> and many months. But um, Starfield does not replace Halo. Halo. Halo fan base will be Halo. Halo fans will be Halo fans. And Microsoft already seen how vocal the Halo fans can get. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They already experienced that. Um, but St and Starfield fans will be Starfield fans. Starfield fans will play Halo. Halo fans will play Starfield. So Starfield does not replace Halo. You know, um, Halo will Master Chief will always be Master Chief. But um, Starfield just proved that Xbox has a lot of games in their in their arsenal. And also, you know, Microsoft is dealing with the uh, Activision Blizzard uh, uh, situation. But the good thing about that now, even though they got the shareholders, the employees, and the public supporting them behind the, the deal, they got governments now. They got governments, you know, countries and governments, meaning Saudi Arabia, Serbia, Chile, Brazil, and there's some, and there's supposed to be some more that's supposed to be joining that group. So they got support behind that. So they got that to deal with. But Starfield, um, Starfield proves that Xbox. They been have games. They they just uh they just solidify that with Starfield. So um, Starfield is going to be a, um is just showing that Xbox have their own exclusive in games. So Microsoft, on the other hand, right now they're busy. All those studios that they acquire, all those studios that they acquire, they are very very busy, very busy. So they got plenty of games that they're working on. You know, and um their Xbox fans are looking forward to those games whenever they decide to release them. Then there's the Elder Scroll. Then there's the uh, <clears throat> the Elder Scrolls. Elder Scrolls Six Factor. I don't think I don't think Elder Scrolls Six is gonna come out on the Series X. It might come out on the next uh, generations of our Xbox, where uh, Elder Scrolls Six raises raises the bar, tra take uh, I mean transcends and um, raises the bar with uh, El with um, within the Elder Scrolls universe. So. They got plenty of games that they're working on, man. So, um, Starfield just proved that, that's so let, let people know that, let the competition know that, uh, Microsoft has games over here. So, you know, you know what I mean? So, like, don't, like, don't get it twisted, man. They got games. But, um, replacing Halo? No. Nah. Halo will, Halo will always be the flagship game of, of, of Xbox. Whenever you think of Xbox, it's always going to be Halo. But, be, but, but behind Halo, they got Starfield, and that game user base is about to grow. So yeah, and um, what you know, what Microsoft could do too is um, they could bundle, they could bundle um the Xbox uh, Series S and X with both Starfield and Halo as like a digital download. 
let's say you buy a, a Series X, it's a bundle. It comes with uh, Starfield and Halo Infinite for both the Xbox uh, Series S and X. Oh yeah, and they will they they will they will move a lot of Xbox if they do if they if they do that. So um, Starfield is going to be a great game. I think it will be game of the year. I think this game will be game of the year um, when it comes out. And um, the delay was worth it. You know, the delay was worth it. And um, you know, Microsoft is just moving right now. They just got a lot of studios. They got they got a lot of studios with games that they're all working on. And their fan base is looking forward to those games. Anyway, listen to this. It says here, Starfield seemingly replacing Xbox. Starf no, Starfield seemingly replacing Halo as Xbox Series X flagship uh, franchise. It says after a 7.5 billion purchase, that's no surprise. <laughs> says here, uh, <clears throat> says uh, Starfield has seemingly begun replacing Master Chief as the Xbox Series X mascot. Uh, no. Nah. <laughs> anyway, yesterday on January 16th, the Reddit, a Reddit post highlight how Xbox Series X owners in China had their console package adorned with Bethesda Starfield. Typically, the rear of the new generation cons console package would have had Halo Master Chief emblazed, emblazoned all over it. But now <clears throat> that honor belongs to Bethesda's new RPG uh New RPG. It says it might seem a little more a, than a throwaway detail at first, but this really points to Starfield replacing Halo as Xbox flagship uh, franchise for now, or at least with Halo Infinite having come and gone in November 2021, the immediate future of Xbox belonged to the juggernaut Starfield from Bethesda. Instead, it says. <clears throat> It's obvious. It obviously doesn't help matters that Starfield has been delayed out of its original release date in November 2022 to an unspecific, specific, unspecified date in the first half of 2023, and still doesn't have a firm release date. Still, with promise of the new RPG launching at some point in the first five months or so, <laughs> Xbox is clearly setting up. Starfield as its big new franchise, considering Microsoft spent 7.5 billion, according to Bethesda, parent company back in 2020. It's no great surprise that former that the former is setting up the latter game as its big uh, tentpole uh, franchise, given that we still don't have a firm release date. For other Xbox Series X exclusive like Fable, Everwild, and Avowed, and more, it makes perfect sense for Xbox to go all in on Starfield as a system seller. And that's the end of the article. Look, every time you make an Xbox console, the first thing is going to come to mind. The first thing is going to come to mind. Where, where is Halo? Where is a Halo? The Halo fan base is big. The Halo user base and fan base is big. And and trust me, when when uh, Microsoft already know how the Halo fan base can get and how vocal they can get. So Starfield uh, replacing Halo. Um, every time you launch an Xbox console, Halo has to be there. Period. Halo has to be there, and Halo has to raise the bar. Um, Microsoft pur purchasing Zenimax um, Bethesda was a great move, but is Starfield going to replace Halo? No, because the Halo user base is big, and Halo uh, gets uh, uh, constant updates, you know, and um, the Halo community is big, but Starfield is going to be a great game for the Series X, for the, for the X for Xbox, period. <laughs> But replacing Halo now nah, because Halo have carried, have carried the, um, have been carrying Microsoft through thick and thin, through through high times and through dry times, through you know see through ups and downs, Halo has been there. So Starfield does not replace Halo, but Starfield is going to send a message to the competition like um, Microsoft has exclusives over here. Whether, whether you want to believe it or not, 
they have exclusive and they have games and they and based on the uh, the studios that they acquire and they purchase Starfield is letting the world know that Microsoft is Starfield is letting the world know that Microsoft is a force to be reckoned with within the game industry so um, it's not gonna replace Halo every time you launch an Xbox console it has to have Halo from day one it has every console generation as soon as Microsoft the next console generation as soon as Microsoft builds their new Xbox the the, uh, the, 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 the Xbox community is like okay where is Halo and they got to have Halo on day one but Starfield now it just it, all it did was just raise the bar it, it, all it does all it did was raise the bar in um, in, the, in the gaming industry and tra and supposed to transcend the, uh, the gaming uh, video game universe but replacing Halo nah Master Chief will be Master Chief <laughs> remember that so Halo 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 will always continue to be um Halo will always continue to be the the Xbox uh, flag flagship title you know and um going going on from there but but Starfield now just made um Game Pass did damage Game Pass gave uh, put Microsoft transcend Microsoft but now uh, Starfield is about to add some um, some artillery to that to, to that scenario. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Some some ammo to that scenario. So yeah. Um, but replacing a uh, Halo? Nah. Every console generation, when Microsoft makes a new Xbox, the first thing everybody is gonna ask, where is Halo? Where is Halo? You <laughs> you cannot you cannot launch an Xbox without Halo. Period. So, um, Starfield doesn't um, it doesn't replace uh, it doesn't it doesn't replace Halo, man. But it put Microsoft in a in a in a new in a newer in a stratosphere now, like and letting the world know like uh, Xbox is a force to be reckoned with. You know, so yeah, um, it doesn't um, doesn't replace uh, it doesn't replace Halo, man. Every time Microsoft comes out with a new Xbox, they're gonna be like, uh, where where is Halo? And and trust me, and, and with social media, or the Twitter, or the Twitter, or the Twitter, the Twitter uh, Halo base is gonna go nuts. So you don't want to you don't want to angry that base, man. You know you you could you could you could take your shots. You could take your shots at Xbox and say that make up that so-called argument that they ain't got no ex uh, they ain't got no exclusive and all that. But every 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 PlayStation fan and Nintendo fan know who Halo is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah, <laughs> you you you're not gonna replace uh you're not gonna replace uh, uh Master Chief man. No, no you're not. But Starfield though, Starfield is about to transcend Xbox though, put them in another stratosphere where they've never been. So yeah, um, Halo is gonna be Halo man. Every time Microsoft comes out with a new uh, Xbox, every console generation, the uh, the Halo community uh is gonna be like uh where's our game? Where's our game? Then the Gears of War fans are gonna be like, uh, where's the new Gears of War? You don't wanna make that Gears of War fan base mad, so Microsoft got games. If you they just got games if you've been um if you haven't been paying attention. They got games. Starfield was leading the charge. But be but with with Starfield comes Halo, Gears of War, Sea of Thieves, Fable. <laughs> yeah, they and let's not forget, uh and let's not and, and let's not forget about um, uh, Mech Assault. Let's not forget about Mech Assault. <laughs> let's not forget about that game. That game is still there. <laughs> so they got hitters, man. It's just Starfield is about to be the game of the year, in my opinion, this year. You know. So, um, but replacing Halo? Nah. <laughs> not unless the Halo community got something to say about it. <laughs> you know. So yeah. Um. It's um. It's gonna um. Starfield is gonna trend, take gaming to a new level, you know, because every uh, every studio that makes uh, space shooters, you know, space game games that deal with space, they want to see uh, what Starfield brings to the table that is new and that can encourage them to do better in their own games that they make. That's what they're looking forward to. But uh, replacing Halo? Nah, <laughs> no. Every time Microsoft makes a new Xbox, 
the Halo fan base want to know, where is our game? And then here comes the Gears of War fans. Uh, where's okay? They're asking for Gears of War Six right now, right? So on the next Xbox, when it, on the next Xbox generation console, they're gonna be like, okay, where's Gears of War uh, Seven? We don't want to hear no excuses. Where's our game? And that's how the Xbox fans are. So yeah. <laughs> Uh, Starfield is going to transcend gaming, man, but replacing Halo? After Halo been carrying the torch all those years? Nah. <laughs> no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. It's not, man. And I mean, what Starfield is doing is letting the world know that uh, Xbox is a force to be reckoned with. Mm -hmm. you know? Is a force to be reckoned with. And um, Todd Howard with Starfield is making the world know that... Uh, that 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 notion that you guys, that little that little saying that you guys were passing around that Xbox has no ex exclusives, those days are over. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So those days are gone. So um yeah, uh, Starfield is gonna be big, man. It's gonna be a big game. In my opinion, it's gonna be game of the year. And to me, the delay um was really really um was really worth it. It was really 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 worth it. So um yeah. It's gonna be game of the year, man, and um, Microsoft deserved this, you know, because um, they carried the game industry. They carried the, the game industry when the Series X came out. They were the ones that were carrying the game industry because they made things, they made things fun, they made things exciting. They they made the game industry move and grow. They made the game industry. Um, uh, they made every game studio question themselves about value and self-worth within the gaming industry, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, they did, they did that. So they everything that they were doing from the Xbox One on up was fun to watch, man, and um, it was uh, very entertaining. They kept the gaming industry, they kept the gaming industry, um, kept the gaming industry moving. But that Starfield, <laughs> that game is going to be a problem when it comes out, man, yeah, when it comes out. But replacing Halo? No. Uh -uh. Not unless the Halo fan base <laughs> got something to say about that, man. So um, the game is Starfield is going to be big, man. It's going to be big. And Todd Todd Howard's with the development uh, theme at uh, Bethesda is making sure that they make their presence, they make their presence felt with this game, man. <laughs> That's what they're doing. <laughs> so yeah, oh yeah. Um, but 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 replacing Halo, no. Nah. Microsoft cannot re micro Microsoft cannot launch an Xbox without without a without Halo because every Xbox fans know when the when the original Xbox came out when the original Xbox came out um, Halo was there from day one so they know <laughs> but this notion that Starfield replaces Halo no nah. Star Starfield is going to be great for the RPG market it's going to pick up where um. Uh, it's gonna pick up where uh, Skies of Arcadia left off. If you play Skies of Arcadia on the Dreamcast, it's gonna pick up where that game and um, RPGs that deal with space uh, left off, and take it to a whole another level. And um, uh, the the team at Bethesda, <laughs> with that uh, developer uh, director uh, Todd Howard is making their it's gonna make their presence felt. So the delay um, in Starfield was. Um, the delay for Starfield was really worth it. It was it, it was really worth it, you know. So when they kept delaying it, I, I said, okay, I see what they're trying to do. Because um, if you remember when when 343 launched Halo, the game came out. The Halo fans let their voice be heard about the game. 343 take the game back to the drawing board, <laughs> fixed it. Then when they were ready. They dropped the multiplayer first, but then dropped the uh, the uh, they dropped um, the story right, like in December that following year. So so the uh, Microsoft is using that to me to me Microsoft is using that same approach. They're they're trying to finish off uh, 2023 strong. So whenever where when when start. When Starfield get released, to me, it doesn't even matter now in 2023. It's like, okay, we know the game is going to come out in 2023. When does it come out? Who who knows? But 
they're gonna use that same formula that they uh, that they used uh, with Halo Infinite. They're trying to finish 2023 strong. So yeah, they got the um, the uh, the Activision uh, Blizzard deal to deal uh, to deal with, but they're making sure that they finish 2023 strong based on what Halo how they released Halo Infinite. So um, when the Xbox showcase uh, shows up. Um, they, 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 they'll be explaining some things, but I do believe that they're trying to finish the year strong in 2023. If Starfield comes out in the winter of 2023 or the fall of 2023, so be it. But the, the wait, the wait is going to be well uh, worth it. And, um, and they can take off from there, but the wait and the, the, the wait and the delay was really worth it. So, um, um, uh, the game, the Starfield is going to be a great game, but Microsoft is, um, Bethesda is making their presence felt, but Starfield replacing Halo, uh, Halo will always be the, the flagship title for, uh, for Xbox, but Microsoft could now bundle Starfield and Halo Infinite with the series S and X, you know, for 2023, they have that option, so, yeah. It's going to be a great game, man, but um, replacing Halo after Halo carried the Xbox for all those years, that's that's a big that's a big shoes to fill, man. <laughs> you know, so it's going to uh, I don't this game Starfield is going to be big, man. It's going to be a big game. But um replacing um replacing Halo? Nah. <laughs> no. You know what I'm saying? Um, but um Todd Howard though, is going to make his presence felt though with this game though. They're gonna really make their um, make their presence felt. So yeah, but right now Xbox is in a good space right now, based on all the studios that they have and that they acquire and, and the games that they're working on. Oh yeah, they're good. You know so, but 2023, yeah. But I, but I do believe though that they're gonna use this. They're gonna try to. They're gonna use the same formula that they did with Halo Infinite. You know so, but we're in 2023. They're dropping Starfield. Only Bethesda and Microsoft knows that. But when that game comes out, yeah, they're going to make their presence felt. Anyway, latest video for y'all to enjoy. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still a Star Wars and Star Trek fan. Bored, dark psych. Go. Peace.